All right, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Maidoka Chan episode three. I'm really looking forward to this after the last episode. Number one, it was just really well received. I wanna thank you guys so, so much for that. Um, also, it was just a really, really nice episode, kind of giving a different uh, perspective into obviously the ghosts and curses and I don't know what, it's, what specifically to name them that she keeps uh, seeing and meeting, but uh, it was a really, really kind of emotional and just nice episode. And, uh, and it makes me look, look forward to this series even more than I already do. But uh, yeah. So as always, guys, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go into this episode right now. It's so just, there's just going to be like ghouls sitting on, their, uh, on the bus over there, isn't there? No? Maybe not? No one there? Wait, did that person just move seat? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Who is this? These people haven't moved. Oh, God. Oh. She keeps repeating the same thing. Okay. <laughs> I was waiting for it to turn around. Are there any, I mean, okay, I was going to say, are there any nice looking ghosts? We did see some cats and a man's wife in the last episode. But the rest of them just look so creepy. <laughs> just press the button. Press the button. Just go through them. Press the button. You have to know at this point they can't hurt you or touch you. Even if it looks like they're touching you. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this so far. Get off the bus. You're going to miss your stop. Yes. Yes, you need to get off the bus. That's creepy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you got on the wrong train. <laughs> oh god, this is gonna be some fucked up shit. <laughs> she thinks she's looking at him. I do really want to know what the kind of connection this uh, ghost has to this guy. And I hope the series continues to go forward with kind of learning about these things as stories and their pasts. Aren't you supposed to be getting it away from you? Oh, okay, yeah, good job. <laughs> he looks nothing like that. I don't need to worry. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, fair enough. I'll be on my way. <laughs> I mean, that was smart thinking from you. Oh, I really hope she doesn't... Okay, let's go. This fucking guy, man. Go away. Uh -huh. Yes. Damn right. Fucking player. What the hell? She's even worse. Bro, this looks like a toxic ass relationship, I'm gonna be honest. That, that must cost you a lot of money. Four sets? And, and, and watch, they're not going to work, so you better have kept the receipt. Oh, you wouldn't get it. Yeah, it's a new trend. You wouldn't get it. <laughs> you should give her some. <laughs> You'll find out pretty soon whether or not they're a scam or not. A buff bomb? What the hell's that? Oh, yeah, spooky alley. Let's do this. 
Jesus Christ. Oh, they are actually working? What? Really? I want a strawberry butt bun. How are they actually working? Um, it's not working on this one. What? Holy shit. He actually had some effect over it. It's fine if she walks into it. Probably. <laughs> Let's be real. Did you even feel anything? Yeah, the fact that they could have the effect on something physical like that. Good. <laughs> it's a good job she's finally learned that. So she can start avoiding stuff. <laughs> oh, poor girl, man. If she can't see it, it's not going to affect her, so just let her go. <laughs> Interesting. I've never eaten a butt before. <laughs> What do you mean by that? I hoa haste. What the hell does that mean? Oh, so is this person like... <laughs> oh my god, no, she's just a scammer. Oh. Who is this old lady? <laughs> Can I can I test them out? Ooh. <laughs> mm. She's onto something. Oh, so she can actually somewhat see it. Cool. This is a strong curse. It looks like. Yes, please help her. Ooh, what is it that she imitate, imitates? Imitates? I don't know the word. <laughs> the word I'm looking for is emits. I'm stupid. <laughs> yes, Granny, let's go. Holy shit, this is like a proper sealed item. Ooh. Let's go. Hopefully these actually work. They do look like proper beads, though. I swear they just snap. No way. This is a strong curse. <laughs> oh no, Granny. Well, at least we now learn that apparently her friend is like, will never have issues with the things seen around her, I guess. Or maybe, I don't know. Oh, you've got something at the end, it looks like. Oh, she went back to her family. All right, so that was Madoka Chan episode three. Uh, that was a really cool episode to kind of see, obviously, that there were other people that could kind of sense the uh, the presence of these ghost curses as well. Um, obviously, well, the old woman was, you know, not in her prime years, as she said, um, but she could still sense it in a sense. And she could also see of her friend that she, like, had her own kind of separate crazy aura as well. Um yeah, really, really, really cool episode, and it was also nice to see in the beginning of the, once again, an example of, uh, you know, living humans that have cur curses looming around them that are, kind of shows their true character, uh, I would say. Um, But yeah, overall, a really good episode, and I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.